All right, so this video is gonna be about the 19 easiest remote jobs that you can land. And some of these are gonna be easy to land in the first place. Others are going to be easy when you actually land the job. And then some of them are going to be both. So a lot of these are going to be easy hire, no boss, no interview, no resume. And in some cases, you're gonna be able to set your own hours or have flexible hours. And most of them do not require a college degree or any previous experience as well. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it right now all right so the first one on the list is going to be a remote honeymoon specialist and this is a position where you're going to craft unforgettable romantic experiences for people who just got married and you're going to do this by collaborating with various different vendors and organizing travel arrangements so you're basically going to be a specialized type of travel agent and it's even better if you further specialize in certain areas right so you kind of want to have your own niche so i found this article of someone who kind of explained how they found success in this position and they said that they narrowed down their specialties to tahiti fiji mexico hawaii and the caribbean and they said that they knew every restaurant every hotel and every excursion in those areas that really to a romantic vacation, right? So you can see here why this would be so valuable for someone because it takes a ton of work to plan this type of thing out. And there's one open job posting I found where they basically had the salary at 70 to $129,000 a year. So as usual, as the old saying goes, the riches are in the niches. And if you specialize enough, you can make a ton of money doing this. So here are some job opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. You can check them out. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a remote case reviewer. And basically what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be analyzing and evaluating different claims or cases from the comfort of your home. And these experts are sought after by healthcare organizations, insurance companies, and legal firms. And you're kind of like a detective sifting through information to uncover the truth. Now case reviewers make between 42 and $71,000 a year. It is entry level. It's relatively easy to get into. You basically just have to have attention to detail or organizational skills and basic computer literacy. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. But yeah, overall, this one's relatively easy to get into. You don't have to have a college degree. It's relatively easy. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a product researcher. And these are basically the behind the scene heroes that use data to shape products that align with consumer desire and market trends. And this position is pivotal in various sectors such as tech, consumer goods, and marketing firms. And many companies, including private companies that sell on Amazon and Shopify, hire product researchers. And product researchers make between $73,000 and $124,000 a year. And there's basically zero requirements. You just have to have a keen eye for detail, analytical thinking, and creativity. So think about it like this. Let's say you get a job working for an Amazon store. And this Amazon store makes $10 million a year and they sell 10 different products. So each of the products makes about a million dollars a year. If you're able to find them even one more product that fits with their brand and their identity and is good for their customers, something their customers actually want, that's probably gonna bring them an extra million dollars a year. So clearly it's worth it for them to hire someone full-time for a position like this. Because even if you find them like one product every 10 years, you're gonna be paying for your position. So yeah, this one is really good, relatively easy. Basically, if you're good at shopping, if you like shopping all the time, this one might be a great option for you. Here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen and I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a digital experience specialist. And this is another one where if you're someone who loves to shop online, it could be a great option for you. And basically you specialize in improving and managing the digital interface between a company and its customers. And there's a quote from someone who's kind of famous in this world. And that is being human in the digital world is about building digital world for humans. That's a quote by Andrew Keen and it's very keen. So believe it or not, you don't need to have any programming experience with this, but it does help if you have a little bit, just because it'll be easier for you to kind of talk with the programmers on the team. You can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. But this one is definitely more focused on just the digital experience in general. And in this position, you make about 50 to $77,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one. A lot of opportunity out there, not that difficult. A lot of tech related jobs are kind of hard to get into, but once you get into them, you've kind 
kind of learn the skills necessary to land the job, they're relatively easy. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And this is one of those tech related jobs. It's actually kind of easy to get into as well. So for that reason, I will give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, something that's very similar to this, and I'd say this kind of falls under that category is going to be digital marketing. And I've talked about digital marketing many times on this channel. I've also interviewed a bunch of people who have been able to get digital marketing jobs without having a college degree or previous experience. For instance, James was able to get a job at 16 years old and they all were able to do this through my friend Seth's course. He has a digital marketing course and he actually has a free masterclass, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that will explain everything about digital marketing that you could possibly think of. So watching that will be able to help you figure out if it's a good choice for you. So definitely check that out. Again, I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You can click on it right there. Next on the list is going to be an event promoter. So this is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be promoting events. Now, sometimes these are going to be events in the real world, and sometimes they might be online events. And it's not as easy as it sounds, right? You have to coordinate with the business itself. You have to coordinate with the business's customers, and you're going to have to coordinate with whatever vendors you're going to be using at the event if it's a live event. Here are some job opportunities for this one. I'll have them pop up on the screen. And in this one, you could expect to make about thirty-seven dollars to $67,000 a year. And in terms of the salary, you get paid somewhere between $45,000 and $70,000 a year. So not too hard to get into this one. This one is gonna be one of the harder ones on the list though, but there's probably gonna be long periods of time where you're not really promoting any event because you don't have any events coming up. And so there is gonna be a good amount of downtime there. So overall, I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score, considering it's a little bit harder than some of the other ones on the list. By the way, while you're watching this video, go ahead and comment your favorite job that I mentioned down below and tell me why it's your favorite job. And in the future, I'll make more videos about those types of jobs. Next one on the list is one that could start off as a job and turn into a full-time business. And that's going to be a night or weekend blogger. So basically what you're going to be doing is turning off hours into a hotspot for content creation, right? So a lot of the time, big news out in the world will happen in the middle of the night, or it might happen on the weekend. And as a night or weekend blogger, that is where you would have a chance to shine. So this one does require writing skills and also SEO skills. And SEO is basically search engine optimization. So you have to write in such a way where the search engine and kind of understands what you're writing about. Now there's tools that honestly make this extremely easy, such as Surfer SEO. That's what me and my team use on our blog. So yeah, this one really isn't all that hard to get into. And again, the riches are in the niches. So it's very important you write about a niche that you know a lot about. That's where you're gonna have the best output. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So overall, this one's a little bit harder to get into. Um, so I'll give it an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a remote remote grant writer. And grant writing is something that I actually used to do myself. And this is basically where you're the architect of funding success. So you're basically going to be crafting proposals that transform ideas into financial support. So you might be working for a nonprofit and you write a grant proposal to a big company, for instance, and you tell them why you need the money. And then, you know, they're incentivized to do that because they can save money on taxes. And plus, because it's, you know, just a good thing to do in general. Now, grant writers in general make about 50 to 78,000 dollars a year. And it's relatively easy to learn how to do it. You don't have to be like a writing genius or anything like that. I was actually writing grants as a teenager, believe it or not. So yeah, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and I will give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score because it's pretty good. The next one on the list is going to be a travel writer. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You basically are going to be writing content about traveling. And in many cases, you will get to actually travel to the area that you're writing the content about. So you might be writing travel guides guides, blogs, and social media posts that cater to an audience of hungry adventurers. And travel writers make about fifty-two dollars to $94,000 a year. So you do have to be a good writer to get into this, and you have to have a love of traveling, which I know a lot of people out there do. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And overall, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. It is a little bit competitive because a lot of people do want to get into travel writing. But once you have some experience, it's relatively chill. Plus, you get to travel. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of anyone else out there, maybe a friend or a family member or someone who just needs to get a job, go ahead and share it with them. Next one on the list is a super important one, and that is an email deliverability specialist. And this is basically someone who makes sure that companies' emails 
find their way into people's inboxes. And believe it or not, a lot of emails that get sent out by companies never even make it to your inbox because your email provider is very picky about what you see. They don't want your email getting spammed. And there's certain things you can do as a company to increase your deliverability score, AKA make your emails not be spammy. And that's exactly what email deliverability specialists do. Now, if you work for like an e-commerce company, for instance, that has millions of subscribers, even just increasing the deliverability score by five or 10% might result in millions of dollars of extra revenue over the years. And this is why email deliverability specialists make 86 to $136,000 a year. Now, the interesting thing about this is there's no degree or pathway to get into it. It's just something that you kind of have to learn. And so this is something you can absolutely study on your own, maybe do a little bit of freelance work here and there to get some work experience, and then you can get hired by a company and make a ton of money. So this one is a great opportunity. I'm talking like amazing. I know people making a ton of money doing this. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and let's go on to the next one, which is a user experience researcher. Have you ever wondered how your favorite apps and websites got to be so user friendly, right? Like some of them is just so intuitive. You just know where everything is automatically without ever having to look up an FAQ or calling their customer support. Probably spies. Spies. And then other apps and websites that you you've used that are super unfriendly and you constantly have to call customer support or look up how to do anything. Well, chances are the user-friendly websites probably hired some user experience researchers and user experience researchers make 95 to $145,000 a year. Now this is one of those positions where again, you don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience. There isn't really a pathway to get into it. And this is why you see a lot of boot camps and certification programs teaching people how to do this. Now I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be one of the harder ones to get into. For instance, you have to have a portfolio, but at the same time, it's a little bit more artistic than some of the other ones. And so it probably would be easy for you because you actually enjoy it. So overall, I'm going to give this one a lower score just because it's harder to get into. I'm going to give it a six out of 10, but it could be great for the right person. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next one on the list is going to be a royalties coordinator. And these are the financial maestros that are behind the scenes, organizing and managing the intricate process of royalty payments in industries such as music, publishing, and entertainment. And this is another one of those jobs where there's no path to get into it. There's no college degree that you need to have. And it's relatively simple and easy to do. And they make about 42 to $61,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. You can check them out if you want. And overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be a copyright assistant. And this is someone who manages the world of digital copyrights from registering works to processing royalties royalties and protecting creators intellectual property. So a lot of the time you'd be browsing the internet, making sure that nobody is using your copyrighted material. And in this position, you'd make about 41 to $65,000 a year. So yeah, another one that's relatively easy to get into also relatively chill. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll pop them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And next one on the list is going to be a personal branding specialist. And they are basically the architects of personal branding success, helping individuals and teams craft magnetic brands, through thought and digital marketing. And here's a story of a lady who switched jobs and was able to make $297,000 in 18 months as a personal brand consultant. But that's basically starting a business. If you work for a company, generally speaking, you're gonna make around 48 to $80,000 a year. So personal brands are incredibly valuable these days. And if you don't believe me, just think in your head, who has more followers on social media, Elon Musk or Tesla? Elon Musk does, right? And that's the power of a personal brand. Helping people craft those personal brands that are incredibly powerful can be extremely lucrative. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next one on the list is going to be an e-learning developer. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer about this one. It does involve a little bit of coding, I guess. You're gonna be using what's known as Articulate, and that is kind of a technical software to use, but this is one of the easier developer roles to get into. And this is very similar to instructional design, if you've heard of that, but this is actually extremely lucrative, especially since the pandemic where a lot of learning went online. This one has been absolutely blowing up and they make about 73 to $111,000 a year. So this one's a little bit harder to get into, but man, once you get in, you have great work-life balance and you get paid really, really well. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So honestly, I'm going to give this one a 
9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is a database administrator. Now there's a ton of different database related jobs. There's database administrator, database architects, database developers, database engineers, etc. And all of them are really good because data is incredibly valuable and you need to be able to store it safely and retrieve it efficiently. It's just that simple. And I remember meeting this guy when I used to study at Starbucks when I was going to school and he was basically doing some work and he worked as a database administrator and he told me he only works like five to 10 hours a week and he gets paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And it's a fully remote job. He can be anywhere in the world. And that was when my mindset just started to kind of shift about work and kind of like what I was doing with my life becoming a pharmacist. And I can honestly say that that was one of the turning points in my life when I realized that that is possible. Now, I have to say this one is a little bit harder to get into than a lot of the other ones on the list. But once you get that job, once you make sure that you have those necessary skills, you're never going to have to worry about having a job again. And it's going to be a super chill job if you want it to be. So database administrators make about ninety two to one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars a year. Database architects make even more than that. So yeah, this one is hard to get into, so I can't score it too high. But yeah, if you can do it, it's just gonna be a super chill job. Just you know, put in the work for a year or two, learn it, get your first job, get good at it, and you're basically set for life, right? So I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some current opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. And the next one on the list sounds similar, but it's pretty different actually. And that's going to be a data processor. And this is someone who excels in the art and science of organizing, transferring, and processing data for organizations. And basically your job is to ensure information accuracy. And you're kind of like a librarian, except instead of organizing books, you're gonna be organizing data. Now this is one that is much, much easier to get into, but it also doesn't pay nearly as well. It pays around thirty-four dollars to $54,000 a year. This one could actually be a good entry point if you're trying to get into the data industry, right? Get your foot in the door with this type of job, which is much, much easier to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. Then take some certifications, take some classes, maybe take some Udemy courses, show that you have the skills, maybe take on extra projects. And what do you know, you'll end up in a higher level data job making six figures a year. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So yeah, this one's much easier to get into, but probably not something you want to do forever. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be a records coordinator. And they basically excel in the art and science of creating and maintaining an organized work environment by managing both physical and electronic documents, right? And this is very important, not just for staying organized, but sometimes you actually have to do it to stay compliant with the government. This is another one that's very easy to get into, isn't too demanding either. And you make about 41 to $60,000 a year. So not gonna lie, pretty boring, maybe not something you wanna do for the rest of your life, but it is relatively easy to land. You don't need a college degree or previous experience, and it is a relatively chill job, and it pays decently well. So yeah, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next on the list is very similar, and that's gonna be a data verification specialist. You can kind of see there's a lot of data-related jobs, right? And this is basically where you're just verifying that the data is correct. So it's kind of like being an editor for a writer. And in this job, you'd make about forty to $60,000 a year. And again, relatively easy to get into. Don't need a college degree or previous experience usually. Also relatively chill. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunity for jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is a title specialist. And this is someone who navigates the intricate world of property titles, collaborating with various stakeholders to ensure legal compliance and clarity. And they're the go-to expert for results solving title and legality issues, making them indispensable for real estate companies. And they make about 40 to $62,000 a year. And again, this is another one where you don't need a whole bunch of experience and degrees and all this stuff to get into. Relatively easy to get into, relatively easy to do as well. So I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. Now, by the way, you see a ton of real estate related content on YouTube. There's probably like tens of thousands of different real estate channels. And there's a reason for that. It's because real estate is a great niche for one, but more importantly, creating content is probably one of the smartest things you could possibly do. And that's why I coach people on how I make content myself. And I was able to go from working a nine to five job, not being very happy with it, to making over six figures a month within a few years by creating this YouTube channel. And if you would like to learn how I do that, I actually offer coaching. I only coach a few people at a time, but you can apply for that by clicking the link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. Now, if you haven't checked it out already, I did did make a video on 19 work from home jobs that you can actually do at night. So if you're a night owl, you like to work at night, this is going to be great for you. And you can check that out by clicking right here.